have one more addition to our panel here. Sir, could you please introduce yourself? Uh, hey guys, it's uh, Trevor. That's right, we're all here. Videotape. I'm Dina. We are all here today. So, Dina had a sex change. <laughs> to a black nerd. Yes. I am now Dina. So, uh, let's get this thing going. Let's start from the beginning. Let's start straight from the beginning. How did this show even come about? How did Salute Your Shorts go from idea to on television? Uh, that, that goes to me. Uh, it started when I wrote a book with a friend named Tom Hill. I uh, wrote a book called Salute Your Shorts for Workman Publishing. Uh, we, it, was, it was more like um, the Preppy Handbook. It was just a, a bunch of short stories about summer camp. It had the te uh, nicknames your parents think you'll get, like Champ, Slugger, and Ace, and then the nicknames you actually get, which are Loser, Fit, Donkey Lips, and you know, that kind of thing. Wait, Loser and Donkey Lips together? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of me? <laughs> so we, we wrote the book and uh, uh, went around the country touring and we promoted it and it, it went well and then I got a chance to meet with Nickelodeon. I hooked up with a company called Propaganda Films. We went to Nickelodeon and uh, pitched it to a guy named Jay Mulvaney who was there and he said, it's a uh, lovely idea for camp. Camp is a natural for kids in Nickelodeon. It was uh, kids working, uh, kids in a kid environment and uh, it was the uh, a chance for a chance for them to uh, uh, make the rules for themselves, sort of without an, with, uh, without any adult supervision. So camp was perfect. So we uh, I wrote a script, we did a uh, a pilot, and then we waited, and then we waited, and we waited, and waited, and waited about a year, and Nickelodeon didn't wasn't picking it up. They were they were sort of dragging their feet, and uh, then they finally decided. Oh, you know, we got we got word from the heavens that. They wanted to make us. They wanted to make Salute Your Shorts the the series, and the original cast came back, and they were too old. <laughs> so some of them had to be replaced, and there is only one remaining. Three. Who's remaining? Well, yeah, that's right. Kurt, Danny, and me. I was already old. <laughs> uh, so uh, Michael, Danny, and Kirk were in the original pilot. We had tormented them profusely and they decided to come back for, for more. And so we had to shoot another pilot, and we had to, sh we had to, we had to go through another testing process, and luckily it was a little, more, a little faster, and we got it on, and, and uh, there were 26 episodes, ultimately. I was concerned not enough, but you know, <laughs> if there should have been more. Yeah. It's funny, because I said that too, I was like, it's 26, because it feels like, a hundred <laughs> when you have seen the reruns and everything else and watching the show. I think they've run, they've run it thousands of times on, on Nickelodeon over yeah. the years. So we're looking. Cool, cool. So that's an interesting point. So some of you were at the, the very first pilot and some of you came on at the, the re-pilot, I guess. So uh, so it'd be interesting just going down to each of the cast members. How did you get involved? How did you audition or find out about the show? And then eventually, how did you feel when you finally got on the show? Sure. She was going on. Yeah. Well, I was one of the youngest cast members, um, so I I always struggled to give any kind of real meaningful answer here because I was 12, 13 at the time, and, and um, uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can, I can tell you this, I remember... You know, it's funny the memories that you have, and sometimes they're logical or rational or not, but I remember hating my bowl haircut and my mother for making me have it, and, and the glasses were real at the time, and stepping up the steps for the callback, and, um, and knowing, having the confidence that my life was about to change in a profound way. You just, I just got this sense that I got this in the bag, because I, I am this guy. I am. I have that brain. I am that sponge. So um, it was, it, it has, it, it's been a totally transformational experience and uh, just so blessed to, to have been a part of it. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any skills in real life, so acting came at a good time. Um, yeah, I was working at the time, I, I got the call for the original pilot audition. I think I went in three times 
and on the first pilot pilot, um, they, we actually auditioned the macaroni scene where I eat it. Um, I think it's in the first or second episode, but I literally brought in real macaroni and I ate it and I broke a tooth crunching it in the audition. And they, I think, if I'm not mistaken, they were like, what the fuck is he doing? We laughed. And, and the, I mean, I booked it and it was great. We did the original pilot. There's a few different cast members. Then came around, hey, Michael Bauer, you got an audition for a new TV show called Soul Your Shorts. I already starred in the pilot. What happened? <laughs> you, I got to do it again. So now I'm, I'm walking in a, a waiting room in Propaganda Films. There was some quality talent there. Like I can't remember everybody's names, but some of them are stars now. Uh, why didn't they bring me with them? I don't know. But beyond that, I went in again, and then I saw them in the room, and they were like, oh, Michael, what are you doing here? I'm auditioning for the series I'm supposed to star in already. I went in, did the same exact thing, ate macaroni, broke a second tooth, <laughs> and um, the rest is history because they gave me the part again, so I think they really enjoyed it and it was a pleasure working with everybody again. I think I auditioned for the show like six times. And I auditioned for every role, all the girl roles. So I got into ZZ, and then I got into Dina, but I think uh, Telly was closest to my heart. And uh, <laughs> I had a lot of fun with her, playing a tough girl. So that was fun getting into character. And then when I found out I got it, it was just like, uh, it was crazy. I knew something was gonna happen big. I didn't know what it was, how it was gonna affect my life, but I knew from that moment it was gonna be different. And it has been, it's been great. Uh, let's see, I think it was just a regular audition. Um, agency called and said, uh, you know, we got something I think you would be perfect for. I said, really, what's it about? They said, the guy's an asshole. I said, what? I mean, what are you trying to say? And, uh, so I basically went in and did my thing, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. Uh, what do I remember? A lot of pain. <laughs> I, I originally auditioned for the role of Zizi. <laughs> they loved what I did. Uh, and I remember I, getting the call and, and going into audition for uh, Nickelodeon New York and then Propaganda ultimately and meeting this guy. And we kind of hit it off. He goes, you, you're going you're gonna to have, have your plate full because you're the only adult on the show. And I... Uh, I had to do an audition where, I don't rec recall exactly, but I, you know, I typically sprang on the bunks and surprised the campers, right? So this was one of those audition scenes. So I had my hat on backwards, I don't remember what I was doing. And I turned around to start the audition and the, and the New York executive, Jay Mulvaney, turned to me and he goes, does your hat say bite me? <laughs> and I said, as a matter of fact, it does. He goes, okay, that's, that's good, go ahead. <laughs> so I did that. I think the irreverence of that moment actually helped me uh, get the part and the fact that I was willing to take a repeated pie in the face. <laughs> you know, this is, this is really sort of a surreal experience for me because I have literally not seen these people since they were 13 or 14 years old. I mean, until they, until. Uh, sponge walk through the door. I haven't seen him for, for 25 years. So it's really amazing and wonderful and, and, and a breathtaking to, to see this and to see really, to have you guys here as well because we, we sort of did the show in a vacuum. We were in a, uh, uh, in a warehouse out on Sepulveda Boulevard in Lancashire, deep in the valley. And Sun Valley, baby. Yeah, yeah and, and so we would, I would write the show and we'd walk through a little hallway, open the door, and there were the bunks. There were, you know, there were fake, f f flimsy walls that would, and, and big plastic trees and, and, and cots and things, and, and, and you know, we never knew what was happening. So the show would go out on Nickelodeon, and we never knew that there were actually people out there watching it. So this was really sort of a, a, a great treat. So, uh, and it's really nice to see, really, really nice to be up here with, with all these folks, and it's great. So it's nice to see everyone. So thank you for coming. I'm <laughs>
how did you end up on the show like, from the audition process? Oh, uh, yeah, I was actually, it was random. I was going to boarding school off in Ojai, and I had only been on one audition prior because a casting director came into town, and then I got an agent. This was my second audition, and uh, they brought it to, like, uh, like Venus. I had to go back in like six times. Um, and it was weird. I got it, and then I went back to school, and I got the news like on a pay phone, and I thought I was going to summer, I'd gone to summer camp, so I thought I was going we're going to make this in the summer and go to summer camp. <laughs> but then, like, two weeks later, I'm in North Hollywood in some soundstage and whatever else. And I'd never acted in front of a camera before. So it was really, it was really a great experience for me. Uh, it was extremely eye-opening. I mean, my dad uh, came into town, and, you know, we're like small town people from Hawaii, and he had never, we, we were just tripped out that they shot things out of sequence at that point. And the stages and the whole bit. And I remember we had a really kind of up-and-coming uh, hip director at the time, the first episode that I did, where he just wanted to put camera right in your face and, uh, and so they literally I was doing scenes with Tim where they would have the camera right on the side of your face and it was just really strange but it was uh, you know and I was incredibly starstruck by Danny Cooksey I knew him different strokes and I was like wow I got a famous friend what a letdown huh didn't think you'd be able to say about me either. and uh, yeah it was great you know I loved so I, <laughs> I loved summer camp and we had I mean, we had a, we had a great time right away um, and it was definitely, a, you know, it was a great learning experience, and uh, it was the foundation of, uh, you know, real passion for me. I mean, just the process of uh, making the show and the, the young people. These guys were really young. I know, look at now, but they, <laughs> but they were like in their late twenties when they were uh, doing the show, and it was just a, it was a fun group. It was a real fun group, and we were just a bunch of crazy kids, and uh, they tried their best to control us, but they just really couldn't do much of that. But anyway, uh, it's great to see everybody, and. Uh, Thank you for all coming. This is crazy. All right. <laughs>